This is Colin Dixon with End Screen Media, and I'm at NAB 2022 speaking with Juan Martin. He is the CTO and co founder of First Light Media. Juan, welcome. Hey, good to be here. And End Screen Media listeners, viewers, you probably remember Juan from a couple of interviews I did last year in 2021. Uh, but I'm here at NAB because you have a, a big announcement. Um, but before we get to the announcement, just tell us, just give us a thumbnail of First Light Media. For sure. So First Light is a, a streaming company, right? And we're in the process of delivering video infrastructure for OTT. Um, and we do that end-to-end, meaning we take the distribution all the way from the uh, creation of content, right? the, the uh, transcoding of it, and the distribution uh, all the way through end users. Uh, at the heart of that distribution is a video CMS, where we handle... Uh, all of the discovery, personalization, and audience targeting components of that distribution strategy. Very good. And so your announcement today yeah. is with a small company that people might not have heard of, Google. Google. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So tell us about that. Well, Google has been um, a fantastic partner uh, for us in the last couple of years. We've had um, uh, the opportunity to work with them in their labs uh, in a lot of the components that really influence the media landscape like uh, the recommendations, um, videos teacher, and uh, ad insertion. Uh, and one of the things that we are announcing with them today is the um, opening to the market of their media CDN, which is really the uh, YouTube uh, infrastructure for video distribution. Right. Uh, and as you know, that's a video first CDN, which I think for our industry is going to be a huge uh, driver of value. Right. And uh, as you, the YouTube CDN is probably one of the most built out CDNs in the world, right? Yeah. Because yeah, obviously yeah. YouTube is the most used video platform <laughs> in the they world. They can handle scale for sure. That's that's for sure. So one, what specific Google products have you integrated with? Well, part of the strategy of working with Google is to bring to market a lot of the innovation that they have in media. So we have worked with them, for example, on their videos teacher, something they're trying to uh, bring to market to accelerate uh, ad insertion uh, technology. Uh, we're helping them transition the retail API into media. Uh, that's an important component for driving recommendations and personalization at scale. Um, the, of course, the Google CDN that we just talked about, the media uh, CDN, um, and uh, Bell in the audio as well. <laughs> Um, you know, I, I don't know if you want me to go into the specific technical components, like for example, our um, uh, real-time uh, data pipeline, right? It's gonna bring in BigQuery and Looker for visualization. Those are some of the components that we use there, and really uh, taking advantage of all of the ready-made integrations that GCP has in their stack uh, accelerates our go-to-market, right? Um, and, and that's the reason that we work uh, with them in all of those details. Very good. Now. One very important part of this is fast channels. Mm -hmm. um, my listeners are very familiar with how important they are. I'm expecting the market just in the US to do 4.1 million, 4.1 billion, excuse me, mm. uh, in, in 2023. So this is an enormous opportunity. You have created a really scalable platform for the quick creation of fast channels. Yeah. Tell us about that. So, you know, first on the opportunity itself, I think the, the business models in OTT uh, are converging, right? You're not going to have pure play SVODs alone. You're going to have a combination of those. So you can reach high ARPU customers, but also go beyond that and combine not only the subscription base, but maybe advertisement based mm -hmm. distribution. So Fast Channels becomes a really important strategy on that. More importantly for us, which um, gives us an opportunity to create different uh, visions of the catalog and convert them into channels for distribution. We've already ingested all of the content for our partners, and their catalog now becomes a bit of a playground to run experiments, to target audiences, and create, uh, as I said before, different flavors of the catalog that can then be, uh, be, be, they can be distributed into uh, end users through fast channels. Mm -hmm. um, and typically, we use um, multi-brand strategies with our partners, so that means that you create the content once, but you can then experiment with them across brands. And once you've proven that in the market, you can take that through syndication to other partners. And in any number of fast platforms. Any number now, of fast. one of the unique things that you're offering with this is personalization. Right? Mm -hmm. T talk to us about how you're doing that. Well, the advantage, as I was referring earlier, is that we already have the content. 
So for us to create a virtual channel is just working with the manifest, meaning that you can decide dynamically what content you put in that channel. Uh, we combine that with a data layer, right? We have instrumentation across all of the platforms where the content gets distributed, and we understand then the consumer behavior to build cohorts where those channels can be then targeted towards. Um, and so you can have a regional strategy if you know your audience is uh, in different pockets, or you can understand the, uh, the watching patterns, create cohorts uh, around those, and then make your channels follow those taste preferences. So that's pretty unique, right? Because usually you can only take, uh, you know, you can only target most of the fast channels that we see today are just created around a genre or a show right. or something. This this gives you something that can become much more engaging. I think one of the things that's a big challenge for fast channels, fast linear channels, is getting really um, good engagement, right? This should right. really help drive that. Get granular, right? Combine the content that people want to see with a little bit of the local flavor, yeah. you know, and then the combination will, will help drive engagement. And as you know, a lot of the fast channels work with small uh, content providers. Right? They give them an avenue of monetization when they don't have another distribution strategy. We focus with the large uh, content providers that they already have an own and operated network. They want to get to their customers. right? They want to experiment with some of the channels, and they want to see how uh, engagement works out and maybe graduate some of those channels for a broader syndication strategy. Right, right. And the one other part of this that's also very important is the data. Uh, they'll be able to get great data, right? Yeah, uh, well, it, it's fundamental. Like, that's the, the reason that OTT drives so much value today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But data is not easy to come by, to curate, and to maintain over time. Uh, what we built is a real-time uh, data pipeline that is basically instrumenting all of our platforms, right? So we get... Um, a, a great information about engagement from the audience. We combine that with the content insights that we already uh, extracted from our catalog, and we can add monetization inputs as well. So you understand um, the, 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 the strategy of distribution from those three angles, content, audience, and monetization. Uh, and I think that that's where this gets interesting, because that informs the way that you distribute, how you uh, make content acquisition decisions, in, in this case, how you curate the virtual channels. Very good. So, so this is a pretty complete solution. Um, not only now can they launch VOD, they can also launch yeah. Fast Linear with First Light. So congratulations, it's a great announcement. Thank you. And incredibly <laughs> scalable anywhere in the world. <laughs> I know, I know. Just, just a few of these things coming together really opens up the opportunity for making good uh, and great things. Wonderful. Juan, thank you so much for spending time and telling us about the solution. A pleasure, Colin. Thank you. This has been Colin Dixon with Endstream Media. <laughs>